Megan King is a married lady. The Real Housewives of Orange County alum tied the knot with Joe Biden's nephew, Cuff Owens, at a small family wedding at Cuff's parents' home in Pennsylvania on Monday. The President and First Lady Jill Biden were in attendance at the wedding, the White House told multiple outlets. The 37-year-old reality star first announced that she was in a relationship with Cuff on September 25th, sharing a photo with her man on Instagram and writing, Try my best to avoid any cheesy introductions like my main squeeze. So just meet my man. Megan previously was linked with Will Roos as well as Christian Schaaf. Prior to those relationships, the Bravo celebrity was married to baseball star Jim Edmonds. The now estranged duo finalized their divorce in May 2021 after breaking up in 2019 after being married for five years, Megan revealed to Us Weekly this spring. Megan and Jim share four-year-old daughter Aspen and three-year-old twin sons Hart and Hayes. The mom of three is best known for her time on The Real Housewives of Orange County, which she exited in 2018 after starring on the show for three years. She previously shared that the reason behind leaving the show was that the filming process took an emotional and physical toll on her. Megan isn't the only housewife who would be hesitant to return to the reality show. Access Hollywood spoke with Gretchen Rossi on Housewives Nightcap in July, and she revealed what it would take for her to return to the show. I don't think I've ever sat down and actually thought about the exact like dream cast that I would like to film with. Um, but you know, I've made it pretty clear that the one person that I wouldn't really enjoy being around anymore is Tamara. I mean, I think everybody knows that <laughs> about me and her relationship. I just, for me personally, she just was too much of like a pot stir and she just, you know, made up lies and manipulated things. And I just don't, I don't like that. Like, I just think that it shouldn't be like that. You know what I mean? Like, you, yeah, you guys, she, she also, Slade and her didn't hit it off either. So that's hard. <laughs> I love you say they didn't hit it off. Um, yeah, but that's my point. I mean, there's just, there was just a lot of lies and a lot of fabrication that was said about him and I. And, you know, that's just a really hard thing. Like all the other girls, honestly, every other person that I've ever filmed with, I could film with again. I don't have issues with any of them. But her in particular, like she literally was just doing things behind the scenes that I found out about later, you know, like, yeah, I had some of the cast members that were on the show with her and I that came and like showed me text messages, literally, of her like basically stirring the pot and sending all of them a certain text message saying things about me, but then sending me something totally different. So, you know, mm -hmm. I just that kind of stuff. I don't. I don't really jive with that. I'm just a very straightforward person. And it's like, I just, you know, I don't know. I have a lot to say about it, but I don't want to say a lot about it. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> Same time. This is why, honestly, I don't even like doing some of these interviews because every single time I go on an interview like this, you guys are like asking, calling, whatever. And then anytime that something gets brought up, about her, she says, I'm obsessed with her talking about her. So like, I struggle even wanting to talk about her because she's just such a non-issue in my life anymore. Yeah. But you know, when people ask a question, it's like, I'm just trying to answer it honestly, you know what I mean? So. <laughs>